I shall bring the scriptures to England for English one to read. And the Lord God spoke through his prophet Jeremiah and said that a horrible thing had happened in the land. The prophets prophesied lies, he said, and the priests ruled by their own authority. And what can we say of England now? What can we say of our coarse monks, our greedy priests and our pompous prelates? Theirs is not the gospel of Christ, but a trade. The Church of England has published new guidance to help trans people mark their transition and rededicate their lives within the faith. Let's just make it really easy now. Is gay sex sinful? Do you know, we've done religion, we've done politics. Why am I surprised that you've brought in sex? Because I, I feel sorry for Tim Farron. I feel sorry for Tim Farron. Who keeps being asked this question. He's the only one who does, so I'm asking you. You know very well that that's a question that I can't give a straight answer to. Why not? Sorry, it's a badly phrased <laughs> way of answering the question. <laughs> that was really bad. I should have thought that one through. I, it, I haven't got a good answer to the question. Let, I'll, you know, I'll be really honest. I haven't got a good answer to the question. I'm copying out because I haven't. I'm struggling with the issue. And I don't think I expected to be here. Uh, it slightly took me by surprise. Before Christmas, I was in denial. And as I read around it, uh, uh, I uh, was sort of coming to realize it was a big issue. Uh, last summer in the General Synod in July, uh, people expressing historic, orthodox, biblical, Anglican, uh, Anglicanism, basic things that we believe that are there in the 39 articles and in the prayer book, people expressing those views were booed in General Synod. I am going to resign as the vicar of Foy and as the priest in charge of Gallant, and so we're going to set up a new church. Why are the prelates dressed in red? It is meant to show that they are ready every hour to suffer martyrdom for the testimony of God's word. For God's word! He must be stopped. Behold, the day has come, saith the Lord, that I will bring a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord.